Hi guys, I'm Danny West and you're back with another episode of The Soapbox, your patient education station. And today we're talking licorice legs, candy cane legs, spiraling the thigh bones, all the things turn out to try to help facilitate turnout from the hip, not the feet. Okay, so I like to start with busting out food always, of course, candy, uh, little Twizzlers, okay, uh, licorice. So notice licorice has this general kind of spiral all the way down it, much like a candy cane. And because I am filming in non-Christmas times, I just have straws instead of candy canes. No candy canes available yet. But again, you'll see kind of the spiral pattern on a candy cane or on the straw. And this is actually what I want kids to think about as they rotate the thigh bones open, okay? So a great way, along with like bringing in licor licorice and uh, candy canes, is I'll cue candy cane legs, especially not just in turnout, but parallel. So if you have turnout discs or rotator discs, I like to use those first just to get a feel so the kids can really get a sense of the thigh bone pivoting in the hip socket and not necessarily holding turnout by gripping the floor with their feet. So I'm gonna hop up. I've actually candy cane and licorice legged here myself just to give you that visual cue. So the rotator discs are really helpful. So I'm gonna stand arms bra ba. I'm gonna think about spiraling my thigh bones open and back to center. And I'm gonna try again to spiral, even get the spiral to show on the inside, my inner thighs, and just kind of get a feel of how that comes from the hips, not by gripping the feet in the floor and standing up. That's cheating turnout, okay? So once they have that kind of feel of the licorice legs or the candy cane legs, I actually want them to feel that even in parallel because I want you to watch the magic that happens here. So if we're standing and you have a kid or even me, like I'm super flat footed, if I totally relax, you'll watch my arches, everything kind of collapses in. Now, instead of cueing, oh, lift the arch a bit, all that does is fix the ankle and actually it kind of mucks up the ankle even more because now we're just gripping at the ankle joint and gripping the toes. So I like to cue from the top down. So have them in parallel, just kind of notice if they collapse in and you're just going to say, okay, I want you to candy cane or spiral the thighs open. And I want you to watch how that not only lifts my arches from adjusting here, but it also centers my kneecap. So if I relax, the kneecaps kind of face inwards. You might have one that faces inward more than the other, but by spiraling the thigh bones and then doing our rises here, we're helping facilitate a bit of turnout at the hip, but also helping the alignment of everything down the chain. So I'll actually train candy cane legs or licorice legs in parallel first. The other thing you can do is think a little bit of that spiral as you do squats. Again, excellent parallel strengthening, something that dancers tend to kind of fall in with or not have a good kind of fold at the hip. And explain to them a squat is very different than a plie, but it's still this spiraling of the thighs open slightly to get the knees in line with the second toe instead of collapsing. Again, that control is from the hip, not the knee. So same thing, once you get them comfortable in parallel, we can think about, can you think of spiraling those thigh bones open? Now keep spiraling them open even as you come up. They can do it on the discs. They can also do it on the floor. Again, spiraling open, not just on the way down, but even spiraling open on the way up. Because what happens is they'll go to plie, they'll do a good job at spiraling the knee open, but then they kind of check out and then they collapse and fall in on the way up. So cueing that spiral, not just in their plie, 
but also coming up from a plie and also a little bit in parallel. And it's kind of cool to see how adjusting the hip fixes everything down the chain, okay? So holding the turnout from the hip, not just important when we're actually standing in turnout, but you can also get a little flavor of that hip control when you're training in parallel. Super important if you're retraining rises, again, doing the squats, cue from the hip, and it kind of helps everything down the chain, okay? So that is licorice legs, and then you can enjoy your little snack after too, okay? So hopefully those cues help you. Maybe by the time you watch this, you will be able to get some candy canes, but again, just to get that image of the spiral, okay? Thanks guys. Happy licorice legging.